In January 2013, I started hearing voices inside my head. One of them was a female voice. She was quite frantic and erratic and almost panicky and she would tell me that everything in the world was out to get me and that I was a complete failure. The other voice was a male voice, it was deeper, more slow paced and it would tell me that there's no point me putting any effort into anything that I want to or am obligated to do because I will just fail at it and he made me question whether life was really worth living, what it was really all about. I didn't know where these voices had come from, I didn't even know what they were at the time. I was 22 then and I'd just finished university and I had a pretty good job, it paid a decent wage and I enjoyed it and I was pretty good at it. I was also really happy in a long term relationship, I was completely in love with my boyfriend and I was pretty sure he was completely in love with me too. I had a great set of friends who I really, really adored and again, who I was pretty sure really loved me. I was living at home with my parents, which I wasn't completely happy with, but I got on alright with them and it was just kind of the normal thing to do after you'd left uni and you didn't obviously have a wage where you could get your own place. It was just accepted and it was okay. There was no reason that I could see for me to be feeling the things or thinking the things that these voices were telling me. But they continued. They didn't go away. They burrowed deep into my head and at times they would both literally be screaming at me at the same time and they both had such conflicting views and opinions. She would be telling me that I had to do everything right, that everything had to be perfect, otherwise everything would go wrong. And he would be telling me that there was no point me putting any effort into anything at all because I would fail at it whether I did it or not. And that I was just a worthless waste of space and that nobody in my life really loved me, that everything was just a ruse and that nothing was real. And they would both have these terrible, terrible arguments, like a couple who were dependent on each other and loved each other, but also had these explosive arguments. And it was like my head was the house that they lived in together. And the longer they stayed there, the longer that I started to personalise them, I got to know them because I think that was just my way of being able to deal with it and they took on the forms of monsters inside my head. And one of them I learned, the female, she was called anxiety and the male was called depression. And the more I read about these conditions, I'd heard of them before, I studied psychology at school, so I'd heard of these conditions before. but. The more I read about them and the more other stories from people who also had these monsters inside their head I read and learned about, the clearer it became to me that it wasn't normal to have them in the strength and the format that I had them. I literally just woke up one day and realised that I couldn't remember the last time I truly felt happy, that I'd been feeling so sad and unenergized for about two weeks solid, with no break. And I knew that that wasn't normal. So I went to my GP and I told my GP about the monsters inside my head. And my GP prescribed to me a course of CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, and a course of antidepressants, citalopram. So I attended CBT and it worked for me. I learned some coping mechanisms to, quiet, to quieten the voices down a little. And my tablets did work for me as well. 
over the course of a year of taking citalopram and CBT sessions, I did start to feel a little better. But now six years on, the monsters are still there. I can manage them a little easier now, just through experience and through getting to know them and by working on myself, on my own self-awareness as well. I'm starting to change the way that I relate to people and also the way that I relate to anxiety and to depression. But what I want you to know, what I want you to take from this video is that if you feel that you also have anxiety and depression living inside your head, but you feel that there's no obvious reason in your life for them to be there, you haven't lost anyone close to you, there's not been a big change in your life, if you feel that there's no obvious trigger, and if that's the reason that's stopping you from talking to somebody or reaching out for help, because you feel you won't be taken seriously because nobody can understand why you feel like that. Just remember that there was no reason for me to feel anxious, to feel sad. There was no reason for anxiety and depression to live inside my head. They just decided to move in and settle in one day. And you need to remember that that could very easily happen to you. Anxiety and depression don't discriminate. They can affect anyone at any time in their lives. And there doesn't have to be an obvious reason. So if you feel like you may also know anxiety and depression really, really well, I really encourage you to reach out and seek some help.